Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about few more operations around data frame columns. Let's say you have got a data frame variable which has got multiple columns and you have to pull only a particular column data. How will you do it? Let's say I am asking you, you need to pull two specific column data. I need to see them from the entire sheet of data. How you do it? How do you find the max, min? How can you find me the entire summary of a data? All of these interesting things we are going to learn today in this video. So why delay? Let's get started. All right, so let's write import pandas as pd and I am going to read a CSV file to a data frame variable. So I'm going to say df equals to and here I am going to say pd dot read underscore csv and I would like to read a csv file which is currently present on my computer. So you need a good csv data for your practice purpose. In the very first video from the kaggles.com how can you download this video you know this kind of files data sets is something I have shown. If you are not sure, please do watch my very first video where I have shown you how to go to kaggles.com and where do you find this data set. So this is one of the files that I have downloaded. I am going to right click on this file, hitting on the shift key, right click to get the path of this file. Okay, now let's go here and I am going to simply paste it and simply write a R keyword here. Done. Now let's see the data that is there inside this data frame variable. For that simply write df shift enter. Just by doing this you would find, let me do it again, shift enter. You can see the data has come. So this is a huge set of data having around 365 rows. Okay. Now let me ask you this. Let's say I would like to only print the T max. T max means temperature max. All the temperatures are described in degree Fahrenheit. So let's say I want to print only this max column. Now your df variable contains the entire data out of which I would like to only print the max, max temperature. Now for that how do you write the syntax? The syntax is quite simple. You take the name of the data frame variable and then you can simply say tmax. Okay. Just by writing this and if you hit on shift plus enter, it gives you the tmax column. You can see it has given me the tmax column. Okay. This is one way. Sometimes your column may have a space. For example, if it is written temperature space max temperature space space minimum so if it is written something like this if there is a space then how do you write this syntax won't work if there is a space then you need to write something like this df and then within square bracket and within single quote or double quote you can mention that specific column which has a space within the column name so if you hit enter even this is going to give you the same output. Now my next question is what if I need the date and the max temperature max every day what was the maximum temperature. So I need the date and the max only two columns I need. Now for that how do you write. Now when it comes to two columns generally for one column what you have written like this right within single square brackets pair of square brackets. Now when there are multiple columns you again put a square bracket. There are two pairs of square brackets and inside that whatever you need you mention that date and let's say I need T max. So these are the two columns that I need. Just mention it shift enter. So you can see I have fetched the two column data or how many you need. Let's say you need one more. You can also do that. Let's pull T min temperature minimum temperature of the day. So simply mention it here inside this put a comma and then simply write the column name okay now this particular format will also accept spaces in the column name okay this particular format shift enter so this much I have got 
Now let's say I would like to get a summary like what is the maximum temperature, what is the minimum temperature. Okay, so what is the maximum temperature? Let's say here in the column, which is the date where we had the maximum temperature? That is my question. Now to find that, again it's quite simple. You say DF, okay? And in the DF column, I want to actually find the maximum temperature. So a simple syntax is this this one. Okay, let me write the simple syntax. So I'm saying bf dot t max, and then I am saying to get me the maximum value of this column. So this is a simple syntax. You can simply say shift enter, and it tells me okay the maximum temperature is hundred. In this entire sheet, this is one of the date where the temperature has gone to hundred degree Fahrenheit. Same thing if somebody asks, okay, can you find the minimum? Then pretty simple. You can simply say min and shift enter. That gives the minimum temperature. So for the entire year, I've got the maximum temperature and also I've got the minimum temperature. Now the question is, what if I want to see, uh, you know, the uh, entire, entire, it only gave me the value of that column. I want to see the entire row. Now, if you want to see the entire row, remember the entire row is there in the data frame. So I'm saying data frame. Now within the square bracket, I'm writing the condition df dot t max, right? Uh, equals to equals to, and I'm saying df dot t max uh, dot max. So what is the meaning of this? This gives me the maximum value, which is 100. We saw that. So I am saying check in t max which is equals to 100 okay now if you hit on shift enter it gives me the entire row so i can see the date on 27 2019 the maximum temperature has gone 100 on that specific day of the entire year and it has got so many columns now sometimes you don't need the entire columns you are very specific i just need a date and the temperature marks only the two columns i need or single date i need so in that case, how do you write? Okay, so let me show you the same. The syntax remains the same, but here I am very specified about what I need. The specific columns. Now for that, simply use a square bracket. Let's say I want to see only the date. Then simply mention date and shift enter. So this gives me only the date where the maximum temperature was 100. So I got the answer. Now let's say I want to see the date and max, both the things. Then what you do? In the same syntax, you have to add few things so i said when you have to have multiple more than one column then you use two square brackets okay two square brackets and inside this i'm going to simply say the column name let's say i want to see the t max shift enter now you can see i have got the date and max getting it so this is a couple of very important operations now let's say i would like to get a summary Okay, of the data frame variable. So simply say df dot there is something called describe. Okay, so when you say df dot describe and shift enter, it generally will give you a complete set of uh, data. So this describe has to have a uh, parenthesis, shift enter. Okay, so now if you do this, you can see I have got the total count is 365 okay the mean value the average value is 63 the maximum temperature the minimum temperature average value is 49 uh, now standard deviations the minimum value was 16 okay 25 percent of the temperature is 47 degree 15 50 percent is 63 70 so this gives an entire summary of your entire data so this is also quite useful sometimes if you like to see a summary of your entire data now this um, you know dot describe becomes quite useful so simply type dot describe and then the parenthesis now this function will be quite useful okay so you have learned lot many things today now slowly we will proceed and make a note you know you already have a note like this give proper headers and keep it stored so that anytime you would like to revise all you need to do is simply scroll up and see them in case you forget some of the functions while you are learning so thank you guys for watching Please do comment if this video was helpful for you or you had any challenges uh, during this, uh, you know, doing these functions. So let me know in the comment section and please do watch my next video. Thank you.